welcome back so let's try to do another example with a similar concept of what we have seen till now okay so now i am back to the another web page rahulshetiacademy.com/automationpractice so in this page there are check boxes here right if someone ask you to handle this check boxes yes it's very simple you will simply right click inspect and then you will use the attributes defined here to create xpath css or use name attribute id to click there so let's say there are hundreds of check boxes displayed in your page now you have to click on all the check boxes so what will you do will you write 100 steps where each step you will actually gather id or name and say click no that's not good practice so you have to write a generic way you have to create one generic locator which will help you to extract all the check boxes so that you can loop in that list and every time you can simply say click on them with one single for loop by writing click method you should be able to select all the check boxes so that's the concept how to do that then our first goal here is to write a locator common locator which will give you the all the check boxes let's do that i'll open crow path okay so if i select option 2 checkbox option 2 option 2 checkbox option 2 and type equals to checkbox nice let me select option 1 so all these are unique for every checkbox they are varying but if you carefully observe type equals to checkbox this is constant for all the checkboxes let me see for third one as well right so for third one also id names are changing but type attribute is not changing so that means type attribute is common for all the checkboxes so now let's try to write css or xpath based upon that type attribute so let me write xpath this time because in last lecture we have seen css right slash slash tag name is input at the rate type I am trying to find common attribute because I have to get list of all checkboxes so that I can use simple for loop to iterate through them and click on them instead of clicking one by one checkbox. Yes, this is the syntax slash slash tag name at the rate attribute equals to value. You see that three elements matching and all the three checkboxes are selected. So, I will use find elements, plural. If I use find element singular, then by default only first option will be selected because that is what it comes in the screen. Okay. Now to grab all the checkboxes, now let me go back to my editor. I'll create one more Python file. UI controls okay so so now we are on another web page now so I am changing the URL perfect so driver dot find elements you see that find elements by xpath and get this xpath and now you are very clear that this xpath will give you the list of check boxes present on the screen nice 
if someone ask you get me the count of all check boxes present in that automation practice page then we observe that this is a common type attribute for all the check boxes use find elements get check boxes and then to get the count length of the list print run this test and this will give you the length of check boxes present on that page which is nothing but count okay so it's trying to load perfect you see that three items are present correct next i want to click on all these three check boxes then for let me write one for loop for i i is a variable which will iterate through that list what is list here check boxes okay so for the first time out of three first check box first web element will be extracted okay so on that first web element which is extracted which is nothing but i or let's give some nice name that checkbox checkbox in checkboxes now when it gets the checkbox on that first web element what you have to do you need to simply say dot click and that's it this should click all the checkboxes present on the web page it's simple right so that's why this is the one of the common interview question asked everywhere they will tell you that let's say there are 50 check boxes can you write simple code so that all check boxes will be selected so then you should give an answer that i will find generic locator which will extract all the check boxes into a list and then i will use loop to iterate and right click with just two steps now when you run this test let us see how that goes perfect all the check boxes are selected awesome right now if you want to know whether check box is selected or not how do you check that you clicked here so that means it got selected but how do you validate whether selection is successfully happened or not for that after you click on any checkbox on that checkbox itself see though it as a checkbox it's nothing but a web element it's like driver dot find element of this only with first one or second checkbox or third checkbox everything we are taking into list so that it looks little different on that same web element dot there is a method called is selected this method will tell you whether that specific checkbox is selected or not if it is selected then it will return true if it is not selected then it will return false so now you can put assertion here so that after you select checkbox if it return false assert of false is false and your test case will fail so this is how you can put validation to your test case so that if checkbox is not successfully clicked then your test case will report as failure now i will just comment this step i am not clicking on the checkbox and without clicking i am now checking whether that checkbox is selected or not by default it is not selected so it will return false as you are asserting it when it return false your test case will fail let's see okay your test case is failed it clearly says that it's not selected now remove this comment box we will carefully check all our check boxes and then when you run again now this time everything should pass
perfect no failures process finished with exit code 0 when you see something with exit code 0 that means no failure from python side okay that's how you handle the concept this concept is similar to what we have seen in previous lectures okay one more thing um, right now I have not introduced any testing framework we are just seeing what is selenium and how to do that with python in coming sections when I introduce that you will see neat way of reporting like how many tests how many fail and html reports out of it logs there are lots of uh, framework uh, utilities will get into this code but now we were just trying to brush up ourselves on selenium with python once that is done i will show how to build end-to-end -end testing framework from scratch all right so that's all i have for this lecture see you with one more topic thank you